Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another episode. It is uh, our final full day of hunting today, and that is so sad. It flew by, but uh, it's only six right now. We're, I'm about to walk to the stand. I'm going to be 30 minutes before first light, 45 minutes before first light by the time I'm in the stand. And uh, fingers crossed. We got a good wind for that north stand, so I'll be in the same stand I have been. Um, just really hoping for the best today, so... Anyway, I'm not going to leave this intro very long. It's our last full day hunting. Let's get out there and make the best of it, shall we? I got real exciting getting dressed. I look out this window every single time we go hunting. I've never seen anything. Going to put my orange on, and sure enough, there's a deer back in there. Uh, I couldn't tell how big that doe was from here, so I let her go. But that got real exciting. <laughs> on our, trying to get out there and got real exciting. Hang on, come see my friend. It's okay. Look, he's starting to open up. Hi, buddy. Good luck, I love you. Make friends with the mouse. the final morning of the 2022 rifle season and really deer season for us here at Sergeant Outdoors. So bittersweet day. It's been a grind. It's been a long season. It's been a weird, slow season, but you know, silver linings, optimism, two uh, of our bigger bucks, um, definitely three-year-olds were out there last night we have not seen them all year so fingers crossed that's just a sign that one of the uh other big ones is gonna make its way through one of the ones that i want to shoot um if not i'm like 50 50 on shooting a doe this morning so we'll see it'll be, it'll be an in the moment decision but um it's sunday i'm gonna hunt the morning and then we are going to go out there with side by side and you know take down tree stands to heaters, LP tanks, chairs, get everything out of the woods um, that we can today. That's that's really the plan. So, so like I said, bittersweet, but um, it'll be nice to uh, move on to ice fishing season. So, anyway, let's go enjoy our last sunrise in the woods for 2022, and uh, hope for the best, shall we? Let's get after it.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of deer season here at Sargent Tours. If you watched all the videos or some of them, thank you. I appreciate <laughs> every last one of you that comment and uh, watch these videos because this year in particular was it was slow. It was boring, definitely, especially compared to last year. Last year was <laughs> one of the best seasons we ever had. Everyone tagged out pretty much. Uh, except for a few people. Um, it was insane. It was awesome. So to go from that incredible year to one where um, ultimately just Jordan is the only one that got one with a bow <laughs> and uh, Marilyn not finding her buck, it was a disappointing year. So if you made it through the videos, if you watched them all and you, you, I entertained you or taught you something in any way, shape, or form, thank you for watching thank you for commenting liking i i appreciate it uh it wasn't easy editing these like some of these i don't even want to put out but but i make sure to try to film everything and if i film it i try to make a video of it one way or another so everything's out there <laughs> the boring times the fun times the bad times the mistakes all of it gets filmed and put on on uh, on youtube so I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. There's always silver linings. So the hardest part about deer hunting, it's a long-term learning process. Like you make a mistake, like I made a mistake this year that I will not be able to fix until a year later. Like I, I know what I did wrong. I know what I want to do differently to try something new. And that could be a whole year. So like this year with the food plots, I did them a specific way, and ultimately they kind of worked out for me, but the same strategy didn't work for the other people we did them for. So we wasted wasted a year, and you can't fix that problem until the following year. So hunting season is such a slow learning process, and land management is such an extremely slow learning process, and it's really hard to go online and get information because all the information you may bring in may not apply to you and you won't know if it applies to you or not until you try it and so just wading through all of this garbage advice that elitist hunters give you or brown it's down hunters give you where they don't care but then they care too much and trying to find what works in your life the best and apply it and then and then test it, right? Like see if you're happy with the results or how it works. It's such a long process. And I think that's what's extra disappointing about this year is because I finally did go more of the, I don't want this to be derogatory, but elitist route, right? Like we stayed out of the woods in October. We didn't pressure the land. Uh, we didn't leave ground scent everywhere. We hunted very limited in our main property in October, and the results were the worst we've ever had on the property. Is that just bad luck? Did we do something else wrong? Like, like not knowing and being able to take anything from this year and apply it next year other than the food plot stuff is extremely frustrating. But it's hunting, and I can't help but be excited for next year to try new things and do new stuff. Um, but this is one of the years where we tried a certain way. It didn't really work out for us. So going forward, you know, we're going to try something else. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. If you're only here for my hunting content, thank you so much. I appreciate every last one of you. Uh, all your comments. I have a ton of emails um, from you guys with pictures. Um, we're, we're definitely going to have to do something with that. Uh, I don't know if I'll just put them on the Facebook page or if I'll decide to make a live trail camera Tuesday, but with how my job, my work is, I can't do trail camera Tuesdays, so we might just throw it on a random day and do a how you doing kind of video, uh, recapping the whole year's trail camera videos live. We might, we might just do that. So be on the lookout, be subscribed, the bell be rung on the channel, and when I schedule a live, you'll get notified, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do one. We will do a live video at some point here coming up very shortly. But in the meantime, I have a ton of work to do to start ice fishing. Everyone's out on lakes already. 
People are walking out everywhere. There's six inches in a lot of places. So I have a ton of work to do in the next few days to be able to get out on the ice. Uh, so I have to wrap up rifle season here. I've sat on this last video too long as it's been. And uh, ultimately, ultimately, I hope you guys had a better season than we did. So like I said, there was a few bright spots in there. It was awesome for a few moments, but the overall season, you can't help but be disappointed. Um, but regardless, rambling. Let's wrap up rifle season, wrap up deer season. Like I said, if you're here for the hunting content, I appreciate you. Uh, I'll see you guys next year when we start the food plot processes again. Um, be on the lookout for a live trail camera Tuesday here at the end of the year to maybe wrap everything up and see some stuff. I appreciate every last one of you. So this is where I leave you guys. Outro is a little different. So make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the ice.